Welcome back, Quora Pack, to another Click Team Firefly tutorial. Today it's going to be a little bit different because I am lazy. Um, this is a file for my example file, as you can see, everything listed over here. Uh, let me just pull this down. I have all these different examples, uh, two, like, kind of games, they're not really games, just if you have the file, you'll, you'll, you know what it is. Um, today we're going to be going over first person shooting. Now, it's relatively easy, actually. Um, I don't have any animations, but uh, you can see that it works. Bullets disappear. There's an ammo count. Press R, reload. And that's not really that much coding. Uh, let's see, it says 22 lines, but about 10 of them. It's just movement. And you got comments in here. So, like six lines of code, five lines of code. Um, let's go back to this. First thing we have to do is at the starter frame you want to parent the uh, target to the camera. And as you can see there's a little dot behind the mouse. Whoops. Let me just get rid of the mouse real quick. There's a little dot. Oh. There we go. There's a little dot back there, and we're going to use that to store values for the bullets to move to. Um, or after you do that, we just have some load material code, just make things look different. Uh, I have the ammo set to a string because it's based on a counter, I believe, or an alt value. Sorry. Um, now, as long as we want to make sure that as long as ammo is greater than zero, we can shoot and I currently have shooting map to the spacebar um, depending on the type of gun that you have in your game you will change the every value for example um, like a desert eagle or a handgun won't shoot consistently since it's semi-automatic you will just you have to actually click on that whereas something like a AK will shoot faster than a scar so that's for you to, that's up to you to play with um, what we do want to do these three lines are important we want to set the alt value of the um, bullet. Now, the reason we're setting the alt value of the bullet is to have some kind of information for the bullet's path. And those values are being set to the target. Make sure that it is the absolute position of the target. Um, the difference between position and absolute position is since the target is parented to the camera, if you do position, it's always going to be uh, 0, 0, 050 because we have the bullet, or the, sorry, the target, that's the bullet, we got, or sorry, 100. Uh, we have the target set 100 away from the player. So if we use the apps, or if we get the absolute value, it's going to get the world value. So whatever, like let's say 5, 18, 100 because you're looking up, or sorry, 300 because you're looking up and you've moved a little bit. Um, so we're going to store those, use those for later, and we need to set the position of the bullet to the camera so it travels in the straight path that we want it to. And it's just basically the camera X, Y, and Z. And um, we also need to keep track of our ammunition. So we're going to subtract one from ammo, which I have an ammo value over here under the camera. Just ammo capacity. These are all the movement values. If you've looked at the first person tutorial, which I think I need to update actually. Anyway, that's a different video. Um, and we're gonna set the string or the text to the new ammo uh, value because it doesn't automatically update. Now, we're gonna use those values that we just set up here, and we're gonna see if they're not equal to zero. As long as they are different from zero, which is the starting point of the um, camera, um, in your games you can actually set the origin outside of the um, outside of your little area or whatever. Because if it does hit zero, it's gonna mess up and glitch out. But this is the easy way, to, the easiest way to do shooting. Um, as long as your bullet is not at zero. We're going to take the fixed value of the bullet. 
Do I need to run through any of these? Okay, this is the only one. Um, we're going to get the fixed value of the bullet, because that's what we want to move. This is under the Firefly movement property, or node. Uh, let's see. So right click, path, move to node. And I'm pretty sure everything else is relatively simple. Let's see. I want to create object. Uh, subtract one from ammo. So value, subtract one. Set the alt value. We're using the actual alt value. So alt value set X, Y, and Z. And then position is going to be right here. Set position. Set string. Um, go ahead and go through this. We're going to get the fixed value of the bullet. And we want to move it to that value that we stored. So um, the X coordinate is going to be the X value. Y coordinate is going to be the Y value. And the Z coordinate is going to be the Z value. And we got that from our target. Um, speed. I've chose 10, depending on what kind, or you're probably going to set it way higher, since it's uh, shooting from a gun. Let's set that to 100 real quick. And we need to select the engine. I have it set to 10, just so you can see the movement. Set that back down. Um, lastly as far as shooting goes, we want to register that the bullet has made it to its target. And this is also good for ranged weapons. For example, um, a, a 12 is not going to shoot as far as a Beretta, or a, um, if you're going to really get into it, a Desert Eagle at 50 feet away isn't going to cause as much damage as an AK from 50 feet away. So that's where these values can come into play. You can play with those. Um, you can um, set up deceleration, just if you really want to get that deep into it. Um, basically, all this is is are the values equal to themselves? So is the uh, x alter value equal to the x position of the bullet? If yes, excuse me. If you, um, if all three of these are true, we're one destroy the bullet. Lastly, just reloading. When press R, set ammo to 30, reset the string. Anytime you mess with the ammo, you have to reset the string. That's basically it. Um, I don't have any animations. I couldn't find any. I didn't want to make any because I'm not that comfortable with my animation skills yet. But as far as animations will go, you will get your frame, uh, your frame ranges, which I went over in the last video. Um, you can set the AD, you can toggle flags to set the ADS, so when you're looking down, it'll play a certain frame, or when you're looking, when you press a button to look down the sight, it'll play a certain frame range, um, you can have recoil animations, um, uh, sound for, like, cocking the gun for reloading or, um, uh, shooting the gun, there's a lot of other stuff that's on you as the end user to come up with for your whatever implementation you need. But that will be all for today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one.